Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel that is Deb Chanel's 48th World and we're here with another video but this time we're going to be talking about the enablers of Portia Williams and her family and so-called friends. They are her enablers uh, that has pretty much brought who Portia is today. Okay we're going to start with her mother Diane. Okay, Diane, when she first came on the show, you know, she looked like an ordinary woman, pretty woman, and she was kind of heavy set. And as we saw her develop and evolve on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which uh, Portia's a cast member, you know, she started to get snatched around here. She started to want to, I guess, go back into her heydays when she was the Miss It thing. And... I guess it's just the setting and the tone that we see here uh, that Portia is going hard to be that it girl, that one that moves and shakes and, and, you know, do all those things. And we have to wonder where did all this uh, start to formulate as she grew older. And that's supposed to be her mom's, this picture we just got saw. That we got finished seeing, um, supposed to be our mom's boyfriend, which they do look age appropriate together and kind of look nice, all right. But uh, I think Miss Diane has left the mother role and she's trying to get her groove back and trying to get, I guess, followers on Instagram, Facebook, and any socialite media, okay. But to me and other conservative moms, we're looking at her like she damn crazy. You know, got her child out here. She once had a, uh, that Rolls Royce was gifted to her by a man that she called herself messing with, a married African man. Kenya brought that out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then we got Cordell Stewart, you know, who was a very prominent figure. And he was in the, I want to say NFL. I think he was a football little star. <clears throat> and he had Portia under the rings. And as we got finished seeing beautiful PJ, her parents, Portia and Dennis. You know, Dennis ain't no broke man running around there. I would say he's a modest, probably a millionaire, just keeping it on the ropes. But his mama Gina ain't playing. She ain't playing, honey. She know her son loves women, but she know the kind of woman that Portia Williams is too, okay? She met the mama. She know what time it is. It ain't no real jobs going around there in that Williams household. Of course, Portia, married, Portia Mama married into the Williams clan. But this dude right here, Dennis, he's almost like a self-made uh, millionaire or close to it, I'm sure. By the help of his lovely mom, Gina. And Gina ain't playing no games because she know what she raised in a man. She know her, uh, her son like women. But it just depends on the caliber type of women Dennis mess with. Now, it seems like Gina, Miss Gina and Miss Diane had come to some type of conclusion that they were going to go ahead and forge the United Front and be good parents to their children. But as you can see how it worked out, Portia is with what she calls a billionaire Nigerian, okay? Which if y'all go watch my good friend, my YouTuber, buddy... Uh, and I just say my good friend because I watch her videos and she's a, she seems very nice and she was very nice to me. We both gave each other shout outs and it just is what it is. She calls him Dirty Simon on her channel. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Sunday Omni. Okay, Sunday Omni. O-N-M-Y, I think how she spelled her last name. But go look her up. She's on YouTube. She has a lot of followers that kind of stay in tune to how she feels. And, of course, she allows them to make their opinions, which we do so on this channel, too. But, you know, we uh, we both feel we don't make the it be all put the stamp, stamp on it of approval that this is how these people get down. This is just our opinions on how we see what they present to us on social media. That's all. So go watch my girl Sunday on me and get your laugh and kiki on. And she has very much so informative facts that's over there on her channel when it comes to talking about Portia and Dirty Simon. Because she wants Portia to win. She really does. We all do. But it's just the people she keeps aligning herself with is the problem so my whole thing 
We ain't gonna get on Dennis. We already know what Dennis is. He's a playboy. He's a bachelor. He's a runner. He's a track star. No, <laughs> I just had to get that out. But technically, Dennis is a hardworking man. He does what he wants, and he ain't finna let nobody take advantage of him. Okay. Then we got Grandma over there, and we can see the apple don't fall too far from the tree. I would like to know what her husband did. How old? she was when she got him under her hooks because portia is getting this woman like jezebel spirit from someone okay we're saying these are her enablers they know she ain't got no business that when portia ain't got called herself being an activist ag uh act advocate for black lives matter and she was out there protesting with none other her bow okay the one she can't stand because he want to pin her to a contractual agreement called a prenup and she don't want to do that so she up there doing her thing black power pro-black stop the violence on black brown and minorities and you know somehow she hooked up with this thing and yes i call him a thing because uh, everything that some of my good uh youtube bloggers have got on him and i like i said some people did their due diligence and they really really did their research tisa tales is one of them sunday Anami is one of them. Uh, Omni is one of them. And I can't think of the other person that does a lot of videos on Portia's uh, fiance. But it just seemed like Mama Diane is just going around here living it up. And shout out to uh, Michelle Brown, ATL. And go check out her uh, video YouTube channel too. She's an excellent uh, journalist when it comes to entertainment news. And she knows a lot of people here in Atlanta. Uh, she get invited to a lot of events and you know she carefully tries to not be biased on some things but we know she is on some things you know we just got to give it to her you know because we all like who we like and we try to make a firm unbiased opinion of their actions but it just is what it is but you know uh diane going around and talking about she uh loves dennis and she loves uh simon i'm like how can you love two people when ain't them but one daughter to go around? And then you want to have a man that you really don't know nothing about, but you don't heard a lot of negativity in the blogs about him and coming from his country, men and women. All right. And I'm talking about Simon Gabadia. <sighs> and this young lady right here, I don't know what it is. Did they suppress Portia from being around them? When their um, when civil rights movement was going around, I thought I know Portia was small and all that, but you know times has uh, has gone further. Miss Elizabeth, which is their aunt on her dad's side, she got more years behind her than she has in front of her, and she would have been a very good resource for Portia to understand the civil rights movement and everything that came down to that underground railroad. But somehow she missed the lesson that mom uh auntie elizabeth or liz could have given her on that and i wonder what she did in school mini portia did she know anything or was she sheltered was she homeschooled tell me what is going on but i don't think portia was homeschooled i think she went to a regular uh elementary and high school um like you know normal on celebrity type individuals but i think diane gave her as much positive love uh, but it's just the tricks of the trade of how her mother got in with a family that was very influential, very much so activist for the civil rights movement. How did Diane get into that family? Was she thinking she was she had a gold mine and she was going to live off the name of the Williams residence? Because see, that's Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, that's Abernathy and uh, Jesse Jackson. I think Jose was the one over to the left. Not really sure. But if you Google Jose Williams in Atlanta, Georgia, you would come out with a plethora of information about what he did, how he did it, and how he affected the civil rights movement. And that's Portia's granddaddy on her um, dad's side, which that is her dad. And as you can see, them big ass glasses, that big mouth, that big nose looks like the williams clan and i i'm assuming that is diane portia's mom so you know she was okay looking she went all that because it seemed like she's very pretty now than what that that particular picture portrayed but she said no don't talk about 
she liked both Dennis and Simon, meaning Portia's mom. I'm like, this is the time you're going to have to choose, Diane. You're going to have to do the friend and foe. You're going to have to say who you want your daughter to be around and be able to be raised in a solid environment and shout out again to atl and michelle brown okay for me using her uh picture that she put her name on as a display but i'm like did you fall from grace and so you thought you can get the royalty and notoriety through um simon that you didn't get through jose williams family uh portia i don't know because that's you and that's your granddad but you look like you're scared of him like you ain't seen him a lot like your dad didn't bring you around him a lot you know and that's kind of disturbing that's kind of disturbing uh and then to see you wanting to be in the limelight which is unflattering uh and very detrimental to what your father's side of the family stood for uh, okay, so I, I don't know what Diane was doing or was it more so Portia daddy that was running around here on these streets like a hoe and he didn't do right by Diane. I don't know. Only Elizabeth, his sister, could tell us that story. But as we can see of all the pictures that were put out on both uh, Portia dad and Portia's sister, Elizabeth, I didn't see any pictures of Portia. This was very few and far between that they probably had to dig through the family photos to get that photo off. But Portia, I, to my opinion, has been groomed to get with the rich and famous. You know, from birth, she probably was taught. And I think Diane did a very good job in putting that in her head that you can't be messing with mediocre men. You got to go for the gusto. You got to be you know able to be able uh, to secure that man with that wealth so you could stay home and you know take care of the kids and this that and the third but you still want to live a social life time of type of life because that's what i did now i don't remember seeing portia daddy out uh and about uh but then again i was young too um and i didn't run across even when in my adult years of anything that Portia may have put out about her dad. It's very little and far between of him being out there in the social life that I know of. And I live in Atlanta, you know, born and raised here. Um, but like I said, back then, the real activists, they were very to themselves. They only went around the people that they felt comfortable being around their own social life circle, if you may. And, you know, Portia just brought out a little more stuff uh, at when she got married to Cordell and she got on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and they start filming. Uh, but she didn't include a lot of her family members. And the family members that we're seeing on her Family Matters show is basically on her mother's side of the family. Except for Auntie Liz, which is uh, on uh, Portia's dad's side of the family. So it's almost like now she's trying, Portia is trying to show you her mother's clan. And, you know, Grandmama, like I said, did she teach Diane how to secure the bag with being married to wealth uh, and security? And that's something Portia still, I mean, Diane is this instilled in Portia where she thinks she has to run for that money and why she thinks she has to be um like dressing mates with her fiance I, I don't know I don't know because every scene they were pretty much in uh from episode one to two she's dressing like him and I'm like did your mama or your history or legacy of y'all women on the uh your mother's side did y'all were taught to try to marry rich that y'all couldn't marry a, a ordinary man and whatnot and that's old dennis coming around him uh to the cookout barbecue uh with his date which was surprisingly his mom <laughs> and he was probably bringing pj back to the family because she you know she like i said she was tired she too fit to be tired she gonna be bothered 
And I guess they were just showing off the gifts um, that they had bought for PJ and some things she probably wanted to take home to her mom's house instead of leaving it over at her dad's house. I'm sure she got toys galore. She got a plethora of toys there with dad and she got a plethora of toys there with Portia. So she ain't missing out. Yes, we would love for our black families to stay close-knitted and stay with their one uh, married person that they... Um, set their eyes to be with whether it be a man and a woman or two women or two men you know to stay together stop all this cheating going on you know what i'm saying at least back in the day you know the people were cheating but they didn't come out in the public and say hey i'm the side chick yeah he fathered eight nine ten children with me and i'm just letting it let it be known i need my notoriety i need to get paid did they do no shit like that in the 40s and the 50s <laughs> girl that'll get you a beat down somewhere but it was almost like when you told your children be seen i heard that's pretty much how the mistress on the um with the woman was fooling around that's how they got down you can be seen but don't try to put us in nowhere in that situation okay that we're together because that ain't how it gonna be so Oh, uh, you know, I'm just kind of trying to figure it all out. How did Diane uh, miss the mark with Portia? Or whether or not Portia mom wanted her to be a socialite. And she wanted her uh, to be catered to the ideal of marrying rich. And there's nothing wrong with it. But is that going to cause her more unhappiness? Because let's see. She did it with Cordell. Okay. Uh, married somebody. Uh, that she thought was fitting to her mother's expectations, allegedly. Uh, and, and, you know, look how that happened. And then she called herself marrying again for rich or trying to be engaged to this clown. But he's a lovable clown. I didn't like him when I first heard about him. And he doing all this to portion all like that. Because, you know, it's just a woman and a, a mother's instinct. We don't like our children, especially our girls, to be dogged out. Okay. But uh, if I had a son... You know, biologically, I wouldn't want my son to be dogged out, too. And I'll be like Mama Gina, you know, because I probably got some of my finances tied up with my son. And unless he's going to break me off that big chunk of what I started with him in the company, you know, break me off and you go on and, and let this woman take your money or may, may not. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But she ain't even take my bag. Nothing that I invest in the hot dog company, hot dog franchise. Hell, I've been eating hot dogs other than anything else, trying to get these people to buy them. And been up at the hot dog people place trying to help sell them damn hot dogs and you gonna bring in a woman and i get a prenup to secure me and her she that ain't gonna happen <laughs> i'm down with miss gina when it comes to that because those two women are different <laughs> it seemed like diane was trying to live the privileged life and have things handed to her on a platter whereas mama jo uh, mama gina was like uh-uh i don't work too damn hard raising this boy probably by myself getting no or uh, little or no assistance from the dad or whatnot. You know, I'm, I'm just speculating because I don't know their backgrounds. And this is what I am putting in my mind to you all of my opinion of what could have uh, transcribed or uh, been the actual facts of the living of Portia, uh, mother and I, Miss Gina. Like I'm saying, I think Portia did pretty cool in a sense when it came to having a man that understand her and don't try to control her. Because as we've seen, Cordell was very controlling from past, past clips. We see Simon saying he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck about social media, other people, and all this stuff. And I'm like, how you going to say that on um, record where people are watching you, viewing you, and then trying to say, okay, now how am I going to let him try to teach me how to deal with money? When in the media, he got people running out to him from, for past debt. I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't get with that. Okay. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. And that's pretty much what Miss Gina said. You ain't gonna lie on my son now. Both of y'all was dipping in that pool of cheating. Okay. It wasn't just my son. I know my son. I know him. I know his type of women. Because you ain't the first one, baby. And you definitely ain't gonna be the last one. But since I got a grandchild uh, by you, I am going to watch my step. Because I still want to see my grandchild and i'm gonna love on my grandchild but you i got you sold up i'm looking every which way possible this scenario can go and that's my claire huxtable felicia rashad voice okay i won't be got okay you won't be getting nothing 
off of this plate over here with Dennis, okay? Until I want to separate us financially. And then he can have his own portfolio and I have mine. Because, hell, I got more years behind me than I do ahead of me. Now, we talk about Portia friends. These are more so her constituents, her cohorts, her so-called friends here and there. You know, depending on the time frame and what season they're going to be on. And, um... Her friends enabling her and her negative behavior. Okay, you got, you, of course you got Phaedra, Todd, Candy, and Portia. You know what I'm saying? They were the ultimate package until Phaedra started warming up more closer to Portia for some reason. Because first it was freaking frat being Candy and Phaedra. They were inseparable. But since she kind of got... Uh, in a sense where uh, she told that lie, or maybe it wasn't a lie, just fell on Portia, and Portia got the bad end of the stick about the dungeon thing, okay? But I think more so Phaedra and Candy fell out during the Apollo situation and the jail time he had to go and the insinuation that uh, Candy was holding on some illegal stuff of Apollo's and this, that, and the third, and Candy didn't really tell Portia what she was holding on to, and that was a big reel. Now, these two, they're fun. They're cool. This woman on the right is named Tanya Sam. She got it going on. I'm telling you, she has her own brand. But when that shit went out about her messing around with Bolo, her and Portia behind closed doors over at Cynthia's uh, bridal shower they were giving her, Girl, she got a hell out of dog. She was like, uh-uh, I, I branded myself on, um, I ain't going to say purity, but all her stuff is legit. Uh, she's a, a, a registered nurse, and then she done turned into a little um, internet um, cyber type of software genius. Some something to that degree, and she like I ain't messing up my brand for this old ratchet show. No, 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 because it's gonna be gone about four or five more years, and then I'm have to deal with the backlash. And that coming out talking about I cheated on my fiance or boyfriend, however they get down. Uh, uh-uh, that ain't good luck. I'm leaving the show deuces. So she just turned in her player card uh, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, gave back their friend. Uh, autonomy that attaches her to Real Housewives of Atlanta, and we ain't seen Tanya since. You hear me? That's a true friend. She probably was in there trying to tell Portia how to do things, how to make her money, but Portia wasn't listening. She was hanging with Candy, and Candy ain't nothing but in that debauchery, that um, who satanic type uh, ritual uh, music entertainment business where they get down any way they can get down they into those threesomes they into um polygamy or i'm not stop i don't think that's the right word but she just into uh being with women being with men and and and, and taught is the same way okay so they were masterminds on some other kind of stuff that they probably enabled Portia, taught her some things, and Portia couldn't even get that right, okay? But we're going to go to Lauren, who is somewhat an enabler, but somewhat of a deceiver where she feels like she's happy for Portia, but I think she's a little bit envious. Both of them are really envious of each other because I know when Lauren got pregnant, Portia was too fit to be tied. She like she felt that should have been her. She should have been well solidified with several babies at this time and happily married. So I knew it was a little something when Lauren got pregnant because Portia was, you know, pretty much saying, "What? Why? Why are you getting um pregnant? I need you. Do you know just being senseless? Okay, senseless. Didn't have no common sense about the situation." trying to blow up lauren's happiness and whatnot you know lauren don't get too much happiness when she's in the shadows of portia williams even though portia has definitely tried to bring her in let the cameras love on her let the viewers love on her and probably allow other entities to see lauren as a good fit to do something in the entertainment business and i'm not saying it won't happen for her but it hadn't happened for her since she's been a friend or sister of the show helping Portia out with some of her scenes uh, because she was uh, Portia's assistant at one time and of course Portia treated her just like 
a dunce, you know, like dumb and dumber. But I really felt that Lauren had a little bit more class about herself, a little bit more conservativeness about herself, and a, a lot more fortness when it came to the business. But that's not what they're looking for in Real House. They ain't, Real Housewives of Atlanta ain't looking for nobody logical, reasonable, that can uh, differentiate between what's wrong and what's right and what's good and what's bad. But, you know, Lauren has definitely taken some high roads. I applaud her. Um, and she's a good role model. She just hadn't had her good luck and share with love. Uh, because she's going through a second something. She marriage didn't work to Bailey's father that she um, got married to. And then she was in another relationship. That from what Portia said, she needs to be out of. But I'm like, Mom, uh, Mama Gina, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So if you could tell... Uh, your sister Lauren that that guy she's messing with is no good Lauren should be able to tell you Simon ain't worth Simon ain't it babe Simon ain't it he may seem like he got this that and the third but he ain't got it going on babe I think you need to stay with Dennis or set your sights on somebody else but you know really get back in tune to watching your daughter watching her grow and both Bailey and her can grow together and be you know cool because we know Portia had a miscarriage or, I don't know, abortion, allegedly. I don't know how it went down with Cordell. But she did. She, had, she said she had a miscarriage, I believe. But even though Dennis and his ooh, womanizing ways still is a lovable gentleman other than the Simon character. Okay, who got five children. They look like they homeless half the time. You know what I'm saying? The grooming is not there. Don't look like they happy the little times we've seen photo ops of them or, you know, them just being shown on social media. It, it's don't, it, compa it doesn't compare to the life that uh, you can see around uh, Portia Williams and Dennis's daughter, PJ. She always seemed like she happy. Just in an opt optics way of looking on the social media uh, platforms. Uh, PJ is always looking real, real nice. She's always looking uh, warm and gentle and happy. But this last couple of tapings that they did to her. Oh, child, she was too fit to be tired. And I was mad for her parents. I was mad for her and her parents. Because I was like, I'm mad because they her parents had PJ up in the situation. When they knew the child was either tired. Or she was hungry. Or she just didn't want them damn cameras in her face no more. Or them people she did not really know and get down with. And I, I felt bad for PJ that her parents, you know, found it necessary to keep rolling. Instead of them saying, oh, okay, we got enough for PJ. Because PJ finna go take a nap. Y'all sit down in, you know, in the living room. Whatever, do what you got to do. But I got to go put this child to sleep. Because she getting on my goddamn nerve. Okay, all right. That's how we would have did that. And taping would have been shut down for those couple of hours. But then we have other influencers that en enable Portia's bad habit of being a thought. And that's, you know, uh, Phaedra Paul. She taught her how to, I guess, be manipulative towards men and get what you want. Because she definitely couldn't teach Portia about fashion. Because Portia, Portia pretty much got that down and said. But trying to secure the bad by trying to date eligible uh, millionaires or billionaires, you know, she probably got some spend time from uh, Sister uh, Nene Leakes when they were on good terms, okay? Uh, of course, can you try to tell her, don't be a thought, don't be chasing them Africans like you're doing. And, of course, Porsche had some banter for Kenya because I think Kenya was messing with the African as well. So, it's like, you know, here and there. But Miss Shamia has definitely secured her bag with her husband who's African. So I can see the similarities and the connection between uh, Shamia and uh, Portia because she wants to learn a little bit more about the culture. And she can find it out through the knowledge that Shamia has definitely gained from being married to an African. I don't know if he's Nigerian, but it just is, you know, it just is what it is. Then you got Nene telling Portia pretty much, don't get caught. If you're going to put paws on her, on anybody, make sure it's off camera, baby. So she was teaching her the tricks of the trade or how to get your enemy, you know, straight, but don't show it on TV because you can, it could do irreparable damage to your career, or whatever you're trying to get out of this platform. So, Tanya, like I said, cool. Uh, now that she was a real enabler, she just 
taught Portia how to have fun, clean, decent fun. You know what I'm saying? And you can do a little drinking on the side. Okay, just know your limit. Then you had, um, you know, she her hanging out with Phaedra Pauls. We know that wasn't a good match, but it was fun for them when they, they were friends. I'm pretty sure they shared a lot. But I think, um, uh, Phaedra was a little bit jealous of Portia as well because of Portia's height, because of Portia's build. And, you know, she was definitely, and definitely still is a pretty girl. Uh, but, you know, Phaedra didn't probably like any of that, and she wasn't getting no place, so she had to hang around Phaedra. Then we got Grandma over there, you know, uh, trying to, Portia's Grandma, uh, her mother's mother, uh, enabling Portia in some form of fashion, but. You know, maybe it's her slick mouth that Portia uh, in a, um, inherited from her. And they don't want to see Portia doing bad. They ain't going to talk about Portia, but they're going to talk about the men, which is wrong. No check Portia to us. Portia out there acting like a thought. A little hoe running around now. Tell her to straighten up her act because that's not what we want to look. That's not what we want to portray. Okay, baby? That's what they should have did while they tried trying to check Gina's child, Dennis, and trying to get on Simon, which they should have left Dennis alone and got on Simon's ass. Okay? Uh, but it just is what it is. And you got Drew Sedora. They trying to say she's the mini-me uh, that's trying to replace Portia's image or how she got down on the show. I don't see it happening. I don't know why Drew is still here, but that's another story for another day. Don't know too much uh, enabling uh, she could do. Uh, it's just a hot mess. We don't want to talk about Drew no more. But... Uh, that's why, like I said, uh, uh, Tanya kind of taught Portia class how to be conservative with her wares and stuff, her apparels and things of that nature. Candy probably tried to te teach her the business side of some things that Portia wasn't catching on to real quick. And, you know, she, I believe uh, Candy had good intentions of bringing Portia into the fold, but Portia was just ha having too many people in her ear. So, um... Uh, Shamia and Candy and Portia, I don't know how they got together because I thought Shamia was Portia's friend, but then it came out she was supposed to be Candy's friend, but they all know each other in a circle. So I don't know what the power struggle was there, but they seem to have good banter. And now Shamia, the one off to the right, is being questioned on whether she had any parts to play on Portia uh, and Dennis entrapment okay i'm like i don't know it ain't a good look and her husband probably ain't liking it either but of course i don't know if shamia is still a Atlanta house cheerleader uh spirit uh razor or whatever they call her nowadays but this is what it is and you got poor lauren she's battered well i ain't saying battered she's uh what do you call it emotional broken she can't seem to get it together can't get a man in her life she just seems unhappy you know, maybe you need to come off the show. Maybe the show is a hindrance to you, Lauren. Because, you know, you enable Portia to be dating both men. And then you get messy on the show because you're inviting Dennis to shit. He, you know, he shouldn't really be invited, invited to. Okay? But you still saying, oh, well, Portia want both her families together. She want to have a blended this, that, and that. That don't go too well with black families. Because <laughs> usually black families say, you know, the, the, the unspoken term as loud as it's being I mean as quiet as it's being kept on speaking out loudly we don't like our exes at anything dealing with our family members and they damn sure can't come back and bring a date we don't want to see you we'll see you on the street we'll be hey how you doing all that kind of stuff but coming trying to blend together like the Caucasian side do no I, that, may, that might be something for somebody that's uh, higher up uh, than the echelon group of people I don't know but I know in the South, we don't too much get down that way. If you did something to their, their son or their daughter, whoever made the infraction, we don't want to see you at no cookouts. We don't want to see you at no weddings, no any, any type of gathering where it's family oriented. We don't want to see no exes. <laughs> now, I might be wrong getting them comments. But if you're black, you were born in the South, you know when relationships ended, you don't come back for no, uh, no do-overs pretty much far with the family no uh, unless you were just i don't know done wrong in the situation and they felt bad about how you got done wrong then it may be an exception <laughs> but what 
Portia got going on. And that's and that and, and it shows from upcoming scenes on her new show. It ain't working out for her either. Cause folks gonna get real nasty. It's gonna be some fights being uh intrude, and, and ensued. Uh, and it's it's gonna be a hot mess. It's gonna be a hot mess. Might be a little chuckle this coming um Sunday. I'm not sure, but we'll be looking for it. We might be looking for it. But that's all I had uh, that I wanted to get about or talk about. Uh, Portia is definitely surrounded by some enablers uh, saying and condoning bad behavior that Portia is, you know, in, in uh, partaking in when they should be telling her, girl, make this show where you coming off of looking like a good mother, a good person in the community. And you're trying to figure out your family life or what you want to be seen and shown in public. The little pieces that you want to give the public to view. You know, but right now it's like the producers got the, uh, got the right of way to make you look however your so-called fiancé is making you look stupid. And Dennis is trying to be there for you in certain scenes. And then some scenes he don't understand what the hell is going on. But he ain't finna let nobody be over his daughter. He don't want to see his daughter mom being done wrong to a certain degree. But then he's like, she got free will. She got to choose what she wants. And she gonna sign that prenup. We can go on 86 uh, Simon ass. And I can give her the life that she wants to live. But I ain't, you know, I gotta work on me too. So, if he's, I'm pretty sure he'll change his tune. And he'll keep that dick in his palm, uh, his uh, where it need to be stored until he wants to get with Portia, if she gonna sign them papers. So I don't know. We should do a um. Now nah, we ain't gonna do that. I was gonna say we should protest and tell uh, Portia to sign that prenup so she can go on with Dennis and go on into happily ever after land or whatever she wanna do instead of fooling with Simon. It seems like you gonna take all her money. Okay, all her money and gonna promise trying to give it back. He gonna be gonna skip the town skip the country and then she ain't gonna be able to find him then she's gonna be looking like his other three wives dumbfounded but that's all i had for this video guys you like it love it gotta have more don't hesitate to uh follow through and hit that subscribe button because you know i am trying to build up my channel and i want to give you that laugh of the day that's all it's about over here get a little laugh little kiki Put our opinions down forever who wants to you know say something for whoever don't want to say something but they want to check me it's okay too okay like i said the, the door is open all right but i do want to think um oh let me see if i can find her name oh uh, where is her name don't got it Dog, I can't, I can't find it. But she was telling me my volume was low. And I'm like, girl, thank you, child. Thank you for letting me know. And I had to go listen to it, and it was low. I don't know what happened, but hopefully doing this particular video, it actually straightened itself out. But she know who she is, but I wanted to say thank you to her. But I can't find it on my phone. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. Let me try this one. Maybe it's on this one. Nope, that one. Hold on. Nope, that one on that one. Talk on video was it under? What video was it under, guys? Was it this one? Maybe it was this one. Shoot. Dashboard. Lord, I can't find it. And that makes me so angry. Because I do appreciate y'all when y'all be trying to look out for me. When um my videos are not acting right. But okay, I'll have to find it next time and shout her out on my next video. Alright guys, but y'all be blessed and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.